Hello everyone. Today's session will discuss about the test environment types in software testing lifecycle. So before we understand about the test environment types, we'll understand what is the software development lifecycle and what are the phases involved in software development lifecycle and what are the testing types involved in it. And from there we'll go slowly into the what are the different types of environments are required to perform these different kinds of testing. So SDLC means that software development life cycle. The first phase in the software development life cycle is requirements gathering and then analysis of those requirements and design of those requirements. And everything is finalized, it will go into the coding level. After the coding is completed, it will go into the testing phase. When the testing phase is completed successfully, it will go into the production deployment. So at each and every phase, we will perform different types of testing to ensure that the given requirements are working as expected given by the business. During the requirements gathering, analysis and design, we perform mainly static testing. The static testing means that whether the requirements are is correct or feasible or not, any gaps in the requirements will review by business, developers and testing. Once the requirement analysis design is completed, the requirements will be given to the developers to do the coding. During the coding part, we will do the unit testing. Once the coding is done, unit testing is successful when the code will be deployed into the testing phase. During the testing phase, we will do, we'll do different kinds of testing. The first one is system testing, system integration testing, user acceptance testing and SVP testing and security testing. Once all these phases of testing is completed, we will go into the final deployment that is production deployment. There also we will perform one testing is called production implementation verification or pre-implementation verification testing. So to perform all these different types of testing, we need different environments. The first one is a dev environment that is a development region. Another one is integrated test environments, performance test environments, pre-production environment and production environment. So first, what is a test environment? What are the prerequisites to set up a test environment? The test environment is nothing but a setup of software and its hardware configuration to execute the given test cases prepared by the testing team as per the given requirements. So what are the prerequisites to build a test environment? The first one is hardware requirement should be suitable and software should be installed and tools should be ready and should be installed in the software environment and test data should be ready before we start with the testing and process if any additional tools are required to be installed to perform a software testing so we should have a user friendly process to get it quickly installed so to go with hardware requirements and software requirements first we'll go with this one by one so check whether the required equipment of testing is available or not and check whether the peripheral equipment is available or not like printers other things and softwares available or not. So what are the required softwares is installed or not and browsers, mobile devices, everything should be ready to perform the testing. For example, if you want to verify a UI application, so to, ver to verify the UI application, we need to do different kinds of testing like browser testing, mobile device testing and uh, sometimes we need to perform the same testing in different operating systems also and after that whether data is ready or not. So sometimes we need to get the data from production also. So we need to refresh our test environment with the production data. Sometimes we need to create our own test data within the test environments. So before going to the test environments, first we need to ensure that whether test data is available or not. If test data is not available, whether we can create our own test data in the test region or not. And after that, we need to see the maintenance. Okay. So the frequently, if example, if you are finding a defects while testing the application, so we need to understand how frequently you can deploy the fixes in the application. Okay, so we need to understand if the environment is not feasible enough to deploy the frequent frequent deployments, 
then environment is not suitable so we need to understand before going to the testing we need to understand how frequently you can deploy the code for the different fixes so these are the checklists we need to see and another major prerequisite for the test environment says the test environment should be similar like a production environment or a or the, the at least similar to a live environment that is of the same configurations network resources operating systems and devices why because if you see an example here we tested in one environment after it going to the production if the op application is not working if you see this error message here operation cannot be completed this is because of the browser issue maybe or an operating system issue maybe if you see in mobile device testing error in the application if you are not tested properly this application within the prescribed in the given environments properly which is in replica of the production then we can it will not work in the production error in the application sometimes see the broken links also will happen sometimes the when you verify the urls in the different browsers those urls will be redirected into a different urls then there is a problem so we need to verify in different browsers also while performing testing so now in the development environment we'll do the unit testing so unit testing is done by the development team once the coding is completed after the unit testing is successful they deploy the code into the system testing environment system testing is done by either system testing people or by the developers sometimes if it is agile methodology the system testing is done by the developer itself that is called sprint testing so in the system testing what exactly we do in the system testing there is no integration between the downstream and upstream system applications so we test the application only by component by component during system testing while testing component by component uh, we'll use the stubs and drivers so what are the stubs and what are the drivers assume that there is a sequence of applications uh, involved in software development so if uh, the downstream application want to test what is the functionality how it behaves when the data comes from the upstream system but upstream system is not ready to test it so they'll use the drivers in instead of a actual component so the driver is a dummy component where it where it sends the data to the downstream system so they use the driver to push the data into the downstream system to test that component separately and similarly if a upstream system want to test it and how it behaves in the downstream systems but downstream system is not ready how it behaves so what they do is they leave the steps so in the integrated environment we perform different kinds of testing the first one is system integration testing user acceptance testing svp testing that is performance testing and security testing and also we perform production implementation verification that is also integrated environment but is a different kind that is production environment now just we recap of what are the different types of testing and environment we studied till now the first one is unit testing this is done by the development team in the development environment they maintain different environments for example they call it as dev1 and dev2 environments second one is system testing this is also done by the developers or a testing team so system test environment it is a white box testing here there is no integration available with other downstream or upstream applications so here we use stubs and drivers to perform component by component testing in the integrated environment we do different kinds of testing that is sat uat and uat testing sat is nothing but system integration test environments and uat is user acceptance testing so sat is in the sat environment it will have integration with downstream and upstream systems also uat is done by the business team during the uat most of the times the code will be migrated from one integrated environment to another integrated environment to make sure that the 
code is working properly when the code is migrated from one environment to another environment just because when we deploy the same code into production they want to ensure that none of the code is missed while migrating the code the staging environment is which is most similar to the production environment in terms of the servers databases cache everything will be similar to the production environment this here will perform mostly svp testing that is performance testing stress volume and performance test and sometimes we do the security testing also here security testing if this is not feasible they'll do it in the sat or the ut environments the next final testing is the production implementation verification that will be done in the production environment itself thanks for watching please subscribe to get the notification for the latest videos thank you